All right, guys, we're going to start that uh, the air project, the upgrade or ad addition to the air system that I already have. Uh, I went and got a whole crap load of parts and stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is I have one section here um, already cut that's going to go right over the old planet tank stand and the where there's no tank and then it's going to supply air to these five fry tanks too. Um, so on this section I already have it cut. It's going to be seven feet long. I already measured out uh, where the five holes for the fry tanks I just measured them two inches apart. Drilled the holes you have to have uh, for these particular valves that I'm using they're the nickel plated valves from Ken's Fish and then they have uh, this extra piece on there that has a cap on it. This doesn't seem to be focusing on it very well, but anyway, you get the gist. This piece screws out, and this would run full air if you wanted to run two outlets out of one thing, which is kind of nice to have, so it's more like a two-in-one type of gig. But anyway, this here is an eighth-inch pipe, so in order to drill the right hole, you need a drill bit, that is 21 64ths. That's the right size drill bit for tapping these holes. So what I did was I measured them out two inches apart, drilled them out with the 21 64ths drill bit, and now I'm going to tap them. That's the five for the fry tanks. And I have four here that's going to be for the tank that's not here and this tank that's not running. So that's going to be the current leg. Um, I'm going to drill or tap these holes and keep going. But I just wanted to show you kind of what you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a tape measure, of course, a uh, marker, some 90s. I use three quarter inch uh, PVC for, for this air system. Um, you're going to need some clear cement. I like clear because it looks nicer. Um, you're also going to need the clear primer, PVC primer. Uh, these are the clamps that I'm using. You can use whatever you want. Uh, these are just the ones that I prefer. I would have really liked to have white, but they didn't have white. Uh, you're going to need some 45s, depending on how your system needs to be run. Uh, I don't like sharp bends. If I can avoid them, I'm going to use 45s. So uh, I'm going to be needing a T for mine, a couple T's. Here's a valve that I'm going to use. This is going to be able to turn this leg of the system off and on from the existing system if for some reason uh, I have a failure on this end um, I can shut the air off to it or if the pump for some reason isn't enough to push these extra sponges I'm going to be running I can shut the valve and buy another pump or until I can get another pump. Uh, I got a whole bag of 90s, a whole bag of couplings over there. Uh, you're gonna need a drill similar to that one, a whole crap load of pipe, some sandpaper, and I don't have it on me but a razor blade um, for when you cut this with your saw, you're going to need to use your razor blade and take the burr out of the inside of this pipe and then say on the outside before you glue your pieces together. Um, the reason why I'm using 3 quarter inch PVC for this job is because with a diaphragm pump uh, you can use three quarter inch. Anything larger than that is really. You could probably go to one inch, but three quarters is about the best for you for a diaphragm pump. If you're going to be using a blower, uh, inch and a half would be the right size to use. If you're going to use a blower. Um, but yeah. So like I said, right now we're going to do a piece of pipe from here over to that piece over to the wall right there. It's going to supply these five tanks. 
and these two fake tanks. And then the next run we're going to do is going to go down to the corner and I'm going to drill four holes in it and run them down for these two tanks right here. Then we're going to put a 90 in and we're going to run that 90 or a straight piece to about right there and then I'm going to put a 45 in and a short section, another 45 to get down here because there's about a one foot ledge right here so we gotta 45 it down and then straighten it out and then I'm gonna drill a whole pile of holes in there for Orion's tank and then we're gonna make a 90 somewhere I don't know to where so it comes out over here somewhere then we're gonna run down and drill a whole pile of holes until we finally get all the way down there to that tank and the one next to that and then what I decided to do, I was going to hard pipe. Uh, I was going to hard pipe the line out of this hole and all that crap, but I think I've decided I'm going to put a hose barb on it and I'm going to run a piece of soft flex pipe just to make my life a lot easier. And it will work just dandy. Uh, I, will all, I will of course film that. Uh, when I get to that point, I'm starting from the end, working my way to the beginning so um, yeah stay tuned uh, for the next part and I'll just keep editing all these clips together and hopefully make something decent out of it see you on the next all right clip. guys so I've gotten a little bit further here just wanted to do a short little clip um, I've got this section on it goes down over above the fry tanks I got the 90 in I'm um, just attaching it with clamps. Where's the clamp? Right here to the uh, the floor joist. Uh, I had to get a little bit longer nails because uh, the nails wouldn't go through the drywall and into the into the joist or the stud behind. But that was no big deal. So you see, I got the valves in for the fry tanks. I got the four valves in for these two tanks here. Uh, this section here, I've got uh, the four valves in for there, and we're down to the 90 where we're going to run it over and above Orion's tank. So I'm going to run it to about uh, wherever this, there's going to be a 45 in here somewhere. So I'm going to run that section, and then I'm going to stop because then i got to go all the way down to the other end down there and begin down where that hole comes through the ceiling right there, and then start coming this direction. So. That's uh, it for now. I'll throw another clip up when I get a little further. All right, so I got uh, from the corner, I put one valve in right there for this corner of Orion's tank where the sponge filter is. Uh, I continued to put a 45 in, stepped it down, and now we're going to run a straight piece over to somewhere over here. But uh, right in this area here, there has to be... Uh, three valves put in and then there'll have to be one more over here somewhere. The reason for that is there's a hole. This tank is only is drilled weird on top so there's only one hole here for an airline. In the center there's a pretty wide gap for me to run airlines through and then that far corner over there has one more hole for a sponge so I'll be able to run my lines that way. Um, so now what I have to do is I gotta go back to the other end. Let me grab a T here. There we go. I'll kind of show you what's gonna happen in the in this section here. I'm gonna have to shut the pump down for right now. And then right about in here, I gotta cut the existing pipe and I gotta cement this bad boy in there. Okay? And then out here, I was going to hard pipe all this, but then it gets to be too many 90s and all kinds of crap, uh, which is going to restrict flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hose barb in here, and then I'm going to run a piece of soft uh, or 3 quarter inch ID plastic or tubing out through the wall into the other room, which is going to lead us, sorry for the shoddy camera work, which will get us out this hole. And then I have a, an access cover that goes on this on this thing. Let me see if I can 
set the camera down so I can kind of show you what I'm going to do here. So there's going to be a piece of uh, like a hose bar going into a coupling right here that's going to be straight up and down. I'm just going to, I'm using a 90 for reference, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue a section, a short piece of pipe in here that'll stub through this cover and come out the other side so I can kind of use it as a bulkhead and get me out and running down that direction. So next time you see it, you'll, uh, I should have all that in. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm going to put where that T comes out in the other room in there. On this thing, I'm going to have a, a valve and then the hose bar. But let me kind of put it together for you so you can see. The reason for that is um, that way I can shut the system down if I had to. So what you're going to have is this is going to come out of the T that I add in to the existing system. I'm going to just cut a short piece of pipe to glue this on. Right, then I'm going to screw the valve in. This piece right here will be eliminated. Then there's going to be this. Right, that's going to come out. And here's the tubing. Put that in. Hose clamp right here. And that will attach that to where it won't back off. This way I can shut the air off for some reason I don't have enough pressure or I have an issue out in the other room, I can still run the fish room. All right, that's it for this this clip. Be back in a little bit. All right, guys, uh, I'm just gonna show you real quick how to tap these holes. I'm sure most of you know, but uh, I just wanted to show you. There's a, this is a, I don't know if it, you probably can't read that, but anyway, it's an eighth inch 27. It's a pipe tap. So pipe taps are tapered thread. So when you tap these out, make sure you don't go in too far because if you do, they'll never tighten up because the threads are tapered, if that makes sense. So it's almost like the, the threads are cone shaped. So if you go all the way, it won't tighten. Anyway, in a, on the square end, I don't have a, a type, uh, tap handle, so I just use a wrench. It goes right over top, I just use the box end on a 3 8 wrench, should fit on that tap. So anyway, what I do, I'm trying to do this through the viewfinder, so bear with me if I look like a noob here, but I just start it with my fingers, try to make sure that all the teeth are cutting straight, or as straight as possible anyway. Get it started like that, put your box end on, push it with your thumb, and turn it a little bit to get it started and then you just can rotate it Boop. see like I said keep dropping stuff anyway so then I just turn it a few times son of a bitch turn it a few times back it out you can do it by hand all right and that hole is done. Go to the next one. Get it started by hand. Of course, it doesn't ever want to do it when I'm trying to do it on camera. And turn it a few times, kind of pushing in a little bit as you go. Now, when it started really well, you can turn it a few turns, back it out unscrew it and that's it the holes are tapped you just blow through them a little bit blow the crap out of there good to go now you just screw your valves in and that's it just wanted to show everybody the tapping process so if you've never done it before you can see how easy it is don't be uh, alarmed at if it's gonna be hard it's not if you can screw in a bolt you can do it all right, everybody. Uh, I got this part done. Well, the whole 
all the pipe is run, so I just wanted to kind of go over what I did here. I decided to change my mind on this. It just made more sense for me to run that hose up through there so it could just do whatever the heck it wanted. Uh, when I get this cover thing, I'm just going to notch it out, you know, right here for that hose to go through it. Um, I got all my valves in, all the way down, clamped, all that happy stuff. All the way down, I got um, four valves for Magnus, a couple valves here for these two tanks, four more valves for these two, two more valves for these two. Um, back in the corner there is one for the corner of Orion's tank, uh, two more for Orion's tank there, and then we met up with the original 45 jog thing that we did earlier. And all the way around, there's another one there for Orion. And the corner, all the way around to the double 75s, fry tank valves, and then uh, four valves for these two tanks here. And that's it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to let this glue cure for a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to start uh, connecting. Some of these tanks I already have. Uh, sponges in them you know like this one's already got two so I can connect two of these lines up you know wherever there's existing sponges I'm gonna run them so for now just to see what we got you know there's three in this in this 75 down here there's three so I'll just take and run new airline up and connect them to the first three valves in here and I'll try to tie all the line together so it looks decent so it's not hanging all over the place. But that's where we're at so far. Uh, let's go into the other room here and I'll show you how that kind of turned out. Right there we've got the T in. I just made a short section right there. You know, with the, going into the valve. Now the valve is shut off. I don't know if you can see the... There's the blue. You can see how it's... Uh, perpendicular to the line so it's off uh, then it just goes into a hose bar with a uh, clamp on it then I just ran the clear line through the wall out to the other room so that's what we got so far uh, stay tuned and I'll uh, shoot another clip with hopefully something running all right everybody we're done I got uh, these three sponges on the air system now you can see the lines running up I put uh, one sponge in this, or two sponges in here. They're working well. And then uh, we went down. I threw two more in Magnus's tank, so he's got a total of four now. Uh, these are all Hydro Five sponges, by the way. So uh, they're the bigger ones. Um, got all the lines done. I got all the fittings marked for what tank they're what tank they go for uh, Odin's tank has uh, four sponges in it now uh, the Chancho tank has four sponges in it and Orion's I added one to his because he's already got plenty of filtration on that tank now um, but yeah all the lines are ran and all that fun stuff um, two in the black belt tank, two in uh, Samson's tank, and then of course you guys saw the uh, fry tanks are already up and running on the on the system. So and then I've got four extras here to run this tank, which looks like is going to be set up uh, today or tomorrow because I'm getting some fish to put in there. Uh, the tank's not exactly big enough for them, but uh, they're going to go in there for right now. But yeah, the uh, that AP100 Pondmaster that I use for an air pump is a beast. It uh, hasn't slowed down one bit. Uh, all these extra sponges are running on it. And as you can see, everything in the fish room is still still just banging away. So. So I'm very, very happy and uh, we're good to go. So hopefully this video is uh, helps somebody that's going to do, uh, do
do their own air system. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them. We're happy to uh, to answer them. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Rate, comment, subscribe.